last two days were a little funky because we are in Yosemite and training is pretty, uh, pretty free form. It's Monday. Happy Monday. Today, I did my key endurance run, which is usually on Sunday, but this week I did it today just because that's the way things worked out. Tired, legs sore, satisfied. It's been a good trip. We're gonna run to Mirror Lake. Beautiful spot right at the base of Half Dome. I think I ran at like 10 minute pace. Okay. Shall we keep up this 940 pace? That's because you had to stay with me. Yeah. <laughs> Jenna and I do a lot of our training. Because we love each other. Because we love each other. It's super important to keep it easy and within yourself. Just kind of enjoy it. Like coming out to places like this, is just an awesome way to mix things up. And we're gonna drive back to our home this afternoon where we're gonna continue this week of training. How cold do you think it is? First ice cream. Oh yeah, my one birthday wish. Uh, is ice cream. Important part of training. And then the training week will begin. <laughs> Officially. Are we a little late? I don't think we're late. Once a week, our master's group, North Bay Aquatics, we get after it. Starts at 5.30, ends at 6.45. Jenna, we've been doing this for several weeks now. Always very dark when we get there. We live in the coldest place in the world to still be swimming outside. We're a unique breed. People are a little half asleep. Morning, Jeff. turns into a very high energy, fun swim workout. Going in the wrong lane. You should be next to me. Oh, I don't know. Bottom, let's do it. Yeah. That set was uh, a lot of just swimming. <laughs> five thirty-five on the first one. Five twenty-five on the second one. Mm -hmm. Twenty-three on the third one. I'll go and get under 20 there, if I'm not doing it. Yeah, good job. 5.17 on the fourth one. You say could have been worth it. Yeah. yeah. And then 5.100 from 110. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. It looked like you were sprinting when I saw you. It kind of felt like I was sprinting. I couldn't get warmed up mm. because we showed up 10 minutes late and <laughs> skipped warm up. <laughs> Swear I thought it started at 5.45. It's always kind of a drag getting up and doing it, but once you're in it and then once you're done, it's very satisfying. All right, next, breakfast, bike, run. <laughs> In that order, but spread out. Total shock to the system. Serious national park hangover. You know, I felt surprisingly good. Oh, this one breakfast. Savory oats with a little veggie scramble with some guac and salsa on there. The savory oats breakfast special. Woke up from nap about. An hour ago, I had a snack, apple with peanut butter, but it was more like some peanut butter with some apple. Definitely wasn't peanut butter with some apple, because that apple was huge. But we are almost out of peanut butter. <laughs> now we're gonna do a bike ride. 90 minutes. I'm gonna do it inside on the trainer, or on the turbo as the Aussies would call it. During the week, that's usually the typical length of my bike workout, unless I'm riding outside. So, we're gonna get that going. 
I had an awesome 2021 season, but I think I can do a lot better. Go out there and, and win age group nationals, win all these half Ironmans that I'm training for. This workout starts with bursts that are just 15 seconds hard to get the legs moving. A five minute blast at or above threshold. And then the majority of the workout is two minutes at a slow cadence, two minutes at a fast cadence, all right around 300 watts. It's not going to be too difficult, still below threshold, but um, it's a strong effort. And then we're going to take five minutes, easy and steady. And then we're going to do it all again. Again? All 20 minutes of it. A typical key intensity bike workout. Headphones are dead. doing anything too crazy on the bike these days because the emphasis is on running and becoming a better runner. I'm gonna cool down for 10 minutes, then I'm gonna go for a run. 45 minute easy run. Easy run. Just to shake out the legs. Bye. Bye. The improvements and the gains that I can make in triathlon are still all, for the most part, within the run. That's kind of the theme of where I'm at right now. I think over the last four weeks, my legs have just been perpetually tight and sore. Just old sore. 20 minute jog, dynamic stretching, and some drills. A couple strides on the track. Cool. All right. Here we go. Everything is focused on doing the run correctly and executing the run to the best of my ability. It's too cold for no shirt today. I can tell because the goo is like solid. Yeah. Five times five minutes at around threshold pace. One minute recovery, so not a full recovery. You want me to start right here? Yeah. Are you 
legs can. <laughs> they hurt. <laughs> warmed up. Each five minute interval, I felt better towards the end. How you doing? Cool. Yeah, you like a glove back? I usually do my track workouts a little later in the day. Doing a track session when it's cold is kind of tough. You're tense. Yeah. A little less than 1400 meters. Almost getting to the 1400 meter. Mark, so another three. 200 I would have had a mile. 548 mile pace. I'm gonna switch it up each one. I don't like to turn in one direction the entire time. He's just switching directions on me. Okay, ready, go. Middle ones felt the best. Two and three probably felt the best. These are like harder runs than I've really like ever done in my life. The focus right now is doing these runs correctly and seeing how fast I can get at running. How are you feeling? My eyes hurt. It's cold and my lips aren't working. Well, how many was that? Three? Very consistent with the pacing. 254 is for every 800 that I go through. Turning around. Four. Relax your shoulders so that the YouTubers don't heat on you. The last one probably got a little faster than threshold, but I feel like that's okay to close out a workout. Four down. One more. leave that there. It was nice having you bike next to me. Mm. The best PT in town, Marty Maddox, my mom. That's a spot right there. Right there. Day another doll. She said it, not me. <laughs>
125s, 150s, the two 100s, 150s, the two 75s. There's a big difference between practice and workout. Tuesday was more of a workout, today was more practice. Still a great workout. A secondary endurance intensity swim practice. A hundred easy and three twenty fives. I can do that part. How you feeling? Bella? It feels so warm. <laughs> it's a hot tub. We're off. It's a busy day. We're gonna go to my parents to do some laundry. Swimming is a total hit or miss. There's no predicting when we'll feel good. It's a couple's protein shake. Mm -hmm. Two hour bike ride. What did he say? Slow down and smell the redwood trees or something. So we're just gonna hang out and then we're gonna go for a trail run. My windbreaker just finished being washed, but it's wet. Well, whose fault is that? Doesn't your dad have stuff? So helpless. Thanks, Dad. You'll be well seen. Which is good because it's gonna get dark in like 20 minutes. Toodaloo. Bye. I love you. All easy this afternoon, bigger stuff tomorrow. When I do my easy shakeout rides, it's just a free ride. Enjoy some views. We're approaching the last little stretch of the ride, turkeys. Getting a little dark now. Still have a trail run to do, so I'm bringing the flashlight. Should be fun. I was afraid that you were gonna get eaten. Yeah, the monsters come out at night up here. If you yeah. ever need to force yourself to run slow, just go run on technical trails at night. We have three more days left in the week. Broken GoPro, another run workout. You have swim labs that you need to film. Brute challenge, another video to make. More activities on Sunday. Jenna, I can't wait to spend the evening with you watching Survivor. Reruns, but Survivor nonetheless. This is my breakfast before I run a couple pieces of whole wheat toast with some peanut butter, chunky and salted. Adam's peanut butter that you stir for half an hour and banana sandwiched in between. Pretty simple. Wouldn't you just call it a sandwich? Peanut butter and banana sandwich with whole wheat toast. Is that better, Jenna? What about on whole wheat bread toasted? <laughs> Friday, again, focused on the running. Stop sucking at running. I've stopped sucking at running, but now I actually want to become a good, good runner. I want to become a runner. A 20 minute tempo run. A 20 minute tempo run on some hills. Sandwiched between it. Four times 30 second sprints. Four of those up front, and then four of those after the 20 minute tempo run. I'm getting used to doing two run workouts a week and being able to recover. In the past, the most I've done is just one hard run workout per week. Just a few weeks ago, my legs would be crushed after one track workout. The course of winter training, I'm figuring out how to do two of these run workouts per week and stay healthy. 20 minute tempo on some hills. It was beautiful bay day. All right, see you out there. Got 
I was strong. I felt good the whole time. I don't know. How do runners get so much hip extension? I don't get it. That's halfway, right? Today felt stronger than the run that I did a day ago. Just kind of a glimpse into what I've been doing and what I intend to do for the entirety of winter training. Prioritizing what I can see the most improvement in and attacking that. 6.09. bit of aches and pains, but I need to do my 30 second blast and Jenna has to go. Nice job. You look really good. On that note, we're going to go home and have a breakfast. Saturday is interesting because we signed up for this brute challenge. Right, Jenna? Get in. She's psyched. This will be in our next video. I swear I do not decide to do these things. Miguel decides that we are gonna do these things. Starts out with a 200 butterfly, 400 IM, and a 1650 freestyle. Jenna and I are gonna get after it and see if we can crack the top five, top three. 10 for me. Go for gold, Jenna. <laughs> We're going for gold. Oh. <laughs> and then we're gonna follow that with a three hour bike ride. Change of plans. We are kind of discrediting the value of a brute challenge. We were? We're going to swap things around. Visual on screen, swap things around. Got that? Go team. Makes sense. I should turn this off. I'm very tired, but I'm gonna get changed and then I'm gonna go meet Jenna out there for a run. <laughs> Motivated, ready to do it. Hour and 45 minutes. Ready to enjoy it because look at this freaking day. It's just gonna be easy. We're off. Is that Jenna Hoffler? Oh yeah. Now we're running. Should we go say hi to Blackie? I've actually never pet Blackie before. <sighs> All right, Jenna, I'm gonna go finish on my run. I got about an hour to go. I love you. Love you too. Despite living here, I still made a wrong turn and ended up doing an extra 20 minutes on my run. Or did I do it on purpose? Because Jenna's making dinner. But that's it for Saturday. We're gonna watch a movie. Good night. <laughs> Raspberries and blueberries, Greek yogurt, a couple types of granola, more banana, pumpkin seeds, and peanut butter. Peanut butter corner is the most important corner, which is why we went hard on it. That's gonna fuel our bike ride today. TBD if I'm gonna do that inside or outside. Sometimes I like to get on my trainer and do these long rides. I think there's a lot of benefit to doing it that way. <sighs> okay. But there's also a lot of benefit and enjoyment from just taking your road bike and going out on the hills and doing something fun outside. With our road bikes. Ow. Free form effort. We're gonna do some climbing, so that's naturally gonna just be harder. I'll go hard up the hills. The rest is just kind of farting around. And that's it. I love farting around. Love farting around in this area. Go down to Stinson go along the coast, ride up near woods. First descent.
Well, this is kind of the end of uh, of the video because our GoPro is falling apart. So, oh well. So here I am kind of reflecting on the week as I'm editing the video. One of the things we take really seriously, like Jenna and I both when we train this hard, is our sleep and recovery. We recently partnered with Eight Sleep, and they're a sleep tech company um, with products to help you sleep better. One of which is the one that we have, which is the Pod Pro, and it's a mattress pad or a mattress cover that goes over your bed and it changes temperatures. So I kind of get very cold at night, so the mattress actually heats up as I'm getting ready for bed. Right now we have autopilot turned on, so it actually will set the temperatures for me, um, and I won't have to do anything. It knows the temperature of our bedroom, and it'll heat up or cool down depending on that temperature, and it tracks all the metrics you should be caring about when you're trying to recover and train to your potential. Heart rate, heart rate variability, time to go to bed, consistency of, on when you wake up. The cool thing about it is it actually has two sides, so it tracks Jenna and I separately. Jenna, you run really hot, right, <laughs> when you sleep? Yeah, so don't expose me like that, though. If you're interested in learning more or about our specific experience with 8sleep, uh, you can DM us on Instagram, you can leave a comment below, and we'll get back to you. We promise.